I thought right now would be a good time to sit down with you guys and kind of share everything toilet training related. Oh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, this is way too cold. I am starting to miss my Arizona weather. Good morning, guys. It's currently 10.15 in the morning and Scarlett is still sleeping, which is insane. I know it's only like 8.15 Arizona time because we're in Kansas right now. If you guys are new here, we're visiting family and I'm keeping her on Arizona time, but she's still sleeping and this is the latest she's slept in since we've been here. Anyways, today's Thursday. We have a fun day planned today. I need to go get her up, actually. I need to wake her up. My sister and her two kids are coming over. They're gonna pick us up and then we're gonna head out to my grandparents' house and my grandparents live on a farm. Scarlett is gonna go ride on their tractor and we're just gonna have like a little tractor ride, which sounds super country and super Kansas, but that's what we do here. She's really excited about it. We've been talking about it all week. Sometime today too, on my to-do list, probably tonight because today's kind of busy and I really wanna sit down with you guys and explain what's going on, but I want to talk about toilet training with Scarlett and what we're doing how it's going and just kind of share a little bit about our experience so far and what's to come because I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys on this topic. And so yeah, stick around probably towards the end of the video and I will be talking about that. This is going to have to be Scarlett's breakfast today because we are going to be running out the door. Finally, she's up. What time is it? It is 10.23 in the morning. I'm really hoping she doesn't wake up in a bad mood today like she has been for the past couple of days because Scarlett has her overalls on ready for the farm. They look so cute on her. These are the ones from Tea Collection. Where'd the kitty go? Say, kitty, where are you? <laughs> He's going night night. Oh, yeah. oh, he is. Oh, did you spill? Mm. It's okay. Just shake it off, okay? My sister just picked us up. We have all the girls loaded up back here. Hi, Lila, she's leaving. <laughs> and we are heading out to my grandparents' house. It's like a 20 minute drive or so in the country country. Uh, it's like no service country. No service country. My um, grandma's making us chicken and noodles too. And if you guys, I mean, I'm sure you guys feel this way too, but when your grandma cooks for you, it's like the best the thing. Best. The best There's ever. Nothing like it. Yeah, no, for real. Getting all lunch ready. We decided to eat before we go outside. These are homemade pickles. Uh, these are like the best things ever. <laughs> They're so good. They're kind of sweet and I don't really like sweet pickles, but those are good. This is a strawberry salad, some vegetables, salad. And then she made homemade soup, which I'm so excited about. I just plated up all of the kids' foods. So this is their lunches. What are you gonna eat, Livy? Nothing fun. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that girl. How's your food? Good. Good. You can't you can't do this in the city. <laughs> Probably not. Follow Grandpa. He's getting the tractor. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have worn white shoes. <laughs> yeah, more green. Come here. Come here, Scarlet. He's gonna start it up, okay? So we're gonna get out, but that is a big tractor, huh? Yeah. A big tractor. Okay, let's move. He's gonna get it all ready. Already. Are you excited, Lila? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, huh? Yeah. They do love each other. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I know. They're holding hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With Lila. <laughs> Doing that little baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> She's behaving the best. She is. They're <laughs> kind of heavy for grandma. <laughs> oh, yeah. Parents just took the girls on a little tractor ride. My grandma was supposed to stay with us and we were gonna follow them in the truck, but I think Lila wanted grandma. So she's attached today. She is very attached. So they ended up leaving us here. I think the truck's a stick. Is the truck a stick? Um, I don't know. Wanna find out? <laughs> Should we? Yeah. Okay, let's go find okay. out. <laughs> okay. 
I actually drove, funny story, I don't know if I've said this before. Did I ever tell you this? When we moved to Arizona, we were gonna put Ty's little sports car on like the back and we were gonna pull it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, his car sat so low so we weren't able to get it onto the thing without ruining it. So we had to pull my car and I had to learn to drive stick because Ty was driving the moving truck. I had to learn to drive his stick car. Oh my goodness. In like five minutes. And then I drove it from Kansas to Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, in like New Mexico traffic. I, it was the most terrifying thing, but I like knew I had to do it because we had no other You're option. Right. But I was terrified and I killed, I totally killed the clutch. Like, is that right? Is that, yeah. did I say that yeah. right? Yeah, I totally killed it like so many times. I am too distracted to drive a stick. It, it, no, I'm not joking. It was like, I was, it was a scary thing it in my so life. It was so stressful. It was very stressful. He took me in a parking lot and he was like, okay, this is what this you're gonna do. And I'm like, I'm in game mode and I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Update, the truck is not a stick. Just to clarify, you guys, we're in like a really tiny, tiny, tiny small town, um, which is why we're being super unsafe in the car, and I just don't want to promote this to anybody, so don't think that you should do this with your own kids. I'm going like two miles per hour. I know, but I have to, I have to yeah, leave I those know. little oh, I'm sure someone will still say something. <laughs> I have to leave those disclaimers just to be safe, but this is just country living, you guys. If you live in the country, you probably do the this. same exact thing. Multiple times. Yeah. This is how we all learn to drive. Yeah, this is how you learn to drive <laughs> at like age 10. By driving grandpa's truck. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when I say this is a small town, I mean you drive through the town in less than 60 seconds. There's probably what, maybe 100 people who live here? Maybe, if that. I just Googled how many people live in Soldier, Kansas, which is where we're at. Um, 138. <laughs> Such a small town. Everybody literally knows everybody. It's kind of cool. One place to eat, the bar. It's just called the bar. <laughs> it's called the bar. That's right. Just the bar. <laughs> there's not even a gas station. Yeah, there's no gas no station. No gas here. station. It's literally just houses and, the and bar. farms and the bar. <laughs> All right. I have a sleeping baby on me, but we're gonna go throw rocks in the river. Typical. Typical country Kansas stuff. Oh my gosh, I cannot open this door. I grew up playing at this park. We'd had family reunions in that building right there and then all of us cousins, and there's a ton of us, would come out here and play. So it's really nostalgic to see Scarlett out here playing. But I'm sitting here holding the baby still while she, while she sleeps. Scarlett's over there with Lauren. But it's fun to be back here. So many memories. Okay, I'm home. Scarlett just went down for a nap super late. It's four o'clock right now. So everything's just super late today because we were at my grandparents' house, which was so much fun. I had such a good time today. But I thought right now would be a good time to sit down with you guys and kind of share everything toilet training related. First off, I just want to say that I have been getting a ton of questions about how we're toilet training Scarlett and I am going to share our experience and our approach and everything that we're doing to prepare her for all of that. But I also just want to say that I'm starting to become a little bit more aware and careful about what I share of her since she is getting to be a little bit older and I'm just trying to keep a few more things private and I feel like toilet training is actually a pretty private thing and I don't mind talking about it. I definitely will talk to you guys about it but I definitely just think I'm going to be a little bit more reserved when it comes to toilet training and just a lot of things with her in general as she does start to get older and I know you guys will understand that as well. I share a lot of my life on the internet and I'm very very open. I think I'm open about things that a lot of people wouldn't be comfortable being open with, but there is a time where I think I need to kind of cut back a little bit for her sake, and this is one of those times. But anyways, I do want to kind of share everything we've been doing and the approach we're using. So first off, Scarlett is 22 months old. We have been introducing the potty 
um, since she was, I don't know, back when she had her cast is when we started introducing it. But we are following the Montessori approach to toilet training. And if you guys are interested in that, I really suggest you read up on that. I'll leave a link down below. I don't wanna go into too much detail because this portion of the video could get super long. I'm very passionate about the Montessori approach. This approach really focuses on the desire of the child wanting to be more of a grown up and recognizing that and also just the neurological development that plays a part of toilet training. When the child's neurological development is reached, then they're actually able to recognize when they need to use the bathroom and to be able to hold their bladder and bowel movements better as well. I hope I'm saying that right, but from what I've read and what I understand, that is basically the method. Please take all of this information with a grain of salt though. I do have a little bit of background in childhood development, but majority of this is what I've self-taught. So a couple things I really like about this approach. Number one, it's based on the child and not on the parent. So we're moving at the child's pace. Right now we are strictly introducing the toilet to Scarlett. I haven't straight up made it into our routine yet. And I actually think I'm going to start as of next week when we get back to Arizona. So we're just going to start adding toilet training into our routine. So when she wakes up, we go to the toilet. Before nap, we go to the toilet. I don't know, any times in between that. And I really think she's going to catch on that way, but that is just going to be the, the main focus is just adding the toilet into our routine. There will be no rewards, no punishments, nothing like that. This is just something you do. You don't get a sucker, you don't get a piece of candy or something like that for going to the toilet. So we're just really trying to keep this as natural as possible. So I also didn't get her an actual potty. I ended up just buying a seat with a little step stool to put on our toilet, which I'll insert a photo here so you guys can see. I'll also leave a link down below. I bought it off of Amazon. I figured that would be the best um, instead of buying a little potty and I just want to say this doesn't mean like if something's not working we're going to change it um, but at least this is how we're starting the toilet training process so we bought that and then I bought her a potty book and that's the only things that we really need for toilet training the other thing that this approach states is to give them as much independence as possible which again is totally Montessori and something I totally believe in so a few things that we might be implementing as we really dive into this process more. I think I'm going to get like a bucket or something to put in the bathroom and if she has an accident, I'm gonna to try to teach her that she needs to throw her dirty clothes in that um, because she is starting to undress herself. So she's starting to learn that and I'm gonna to try to help her understand that. Um, we aren't quite there yet, but that is just an idea running through my head and something that I read on the Montessori approach to toilet training as well. I think the main thing to remember is when you're toilet training your child is that they need to have ownership in the process as well, not not just the adult. Um, so that is a huge thing. My job through this toilet training process is to make sure we have a strict routine with the toilet. Um, so that is going to be my job along with trying to give her as much confidence as possible when it comes to using the toilets. I don't agree with everything this approach says. Um, I do agree with most of it, but I don't think I'm gonna naturally be able to follow everything. And I think the main thing is it does state to um, never scold or congratulate the child for using the bathroom it should be a natural process which I would never scold her for doing that that that's something I'd never do but I think it's gonna be really hard to not say good job Scarlett you pee peed in the potty or something like that so yeah I don't know how that's gonna go but I understand what they're saying I'm asking her occasionally throughout the day if she wants to go sit on it some days she shows interest some days she doesn't and I just kind of go with it she's gone in the potty before she does really well with it but sometimes she doesn't want to sit on it and that's fine I don't push it I don't get angry I don't get mad I just let it go that means she's not ready that day also I know there are a million different ways to potty train your kids and I know I've never done it before and I know there's people who swear by a certain method and I mean everybody has their own way and I get that but please just remember there's no one right way to potty train a child or to parent your child in general um, but this is the approach we're currently taking because this is what I feel as her mom is going to work best for her and for our family I also want to say if something's not working if this isn't working for us we're gonna try new things so if something isn't working for us I will be asking you guys for help and advice along the way but yeah that's kind of what's going on right now with the whole toilet training thing um, I'll keep giving you guys little updates throughout this little experience and journey and I'm sure I'm gonna be sharing the really good days with you but I'll also make sure to share the setbacks as well I'm so ready to get her out of diapers but this is not a sprint it's a marathon for us and we're just gonna kind of let her go at her own pace speaking of the Montessori my absolute goal is to get her in a Montessori school within the next year. I really think she would thrive in it. They are ridiculously expensive, but I'm really gonna try to make it happen. 
so stay tuned for that. But anyways, my parents should be home soon. I'm gonna do a quick pickup of our house because I feel like we've kind of destroyed it today. We fly back to Arizona on Saturday. Today is Thursday, so we have two more days here. I don't think I told you guys this too, but we are actually coming back for Christmas and so is Ty. Ty's coming back with me and I'm so excited. So we're actually spending the holidays here in Kansas and we haven't done this for a couple years. So I'm really looking forward to being with my family this year. Here, where's she? Cold. We are going Cold. to go have dinner with my mom. We're eating Cold. out again tonight. Cold. I feel like we've eaten out a lot. Cold. But I think my dad's gonna meet us there too. Cold. What are we gonna go get? What do you wanna eat? You wanna get some french fries? No. No? no. Are we gonna go pet the kitty too before yeah. grandma gets here? Yeah. Yeah, Scarlett just woke up from her nap. It's like 5.30 right now. Say hi. 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 Okay, let's go. That. That. that is a spider. Bye. Bye. That's a fake spider. Bye. Okay, ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, go pet the kitty until grandma gets here. We need to get your coat on too because it's still freezing. Go give her a big hug. Go give her a big hug. <laughs> Who is that? Hi. Are you ready to go eat? Yeah. Okay. Scarlett, what is this? <laughs> so my grandma gave us some homemade applesauce that she had made and I've never had it before. My dad is obsessed with it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Oh yeah. This is how it makes it good. You need more than that. We'll stir You need a ton of, you need more cinnamon. Listen, we'll work our way up you to it. <laughs> I want more cinnamon. More cinnamon. A bite. More sugar. More sugar and more cinnamon. And I am breaking out so bad right there. Oh man. You something funny? What? Scarlett wants a bite. Think she'll like it? I guess we'll try it. More sugar. What do you think? Do you like it? Kenna. You want Kenna to have some? Look at that scratch on Scarlett's face. She scratched herself when she was sleeping last Ready? night. Me? My turn? Kenna. Oh yeah, that's good. We're heavy on the cinnamon. That's perfect. More. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna end the vlog right here, get to bed, get this video edited. Follow me over on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next I video. Put in, I put him in the trash. Do you wanna say bye like you always do? Tell everybody bye. Bye! See, I'll see you later. Say love. Say love you, YouTube. Love you, love you too. Love you too. Now give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Now give everybody a kiss.